All right, all right, here I am. So uh, I'm new location, new location, and I'm, I'm not at home, um, but I need to do this, okay? I found the perfect time to do it. Um, I'm excited for this, okay? I just finished watching that Oppenheimer movie, okay? It's late at night, it's like 12.30, 12.45. I come home, I see a comment, someone, you know, was, you know, um, kind enough uh, to tell me that uh, Leroy dropped a new project and I'm very excited for this because Leroy had stated beforehand that there was no more albums coming out okay it was Daria Core 1 to 3 that was it that was the deal moving on and they lied they lied okay it's a year like a year two months after that came out and we're back for more of a chaotic mess these um, I only re reacted to Daria Core 3 um, but it was a fun video to react to this like chaotic this mashup electronic dance music music it's very fucking hyper it's a little bit too much makes my head spin um but i enjoy it i enjoy it a lot of people don't like it especially my friend group okay like you know people uh it's a little bit too much for people i'll play it when uh you know everyone's drinking they'll be like riley turn that shit off okay we want to have a good time um okay let's go into this it's um Decent length on this too, I wasn't expecting that. Um, dismiss Yourself, thank you for putting this on YouTube. Uh, I know it's on SoundCloud. Unfortunately, when I searched this up too, I was trying to look on on uh, streaming services and all the fucking albums were taken down. And uh, that's kind of a piss off, but um, we're living still. Okay. Okay, quick thoughts. Again, when it comes to a project like this, I'm not going to need to probably stop for every song. Like, we get the gist. But I do have, like, initial first reactions. Like, first off, it seems with this album that they're doing, like, lengthier songs, which means it's going to be, like, more structure. Um, I didn't feel, like, you know, it's still loud. It's still aggressive song. It's still shocking. But it's not as shocking as I heard before. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like there's, it's more building, building towards something with, um... You know, which is a very common thing with like EDM music, so. And this 
it's got the same name as a song from the last album, so it's like mixed differently. It's a new mix. Synth instead of like a loud drum. Okay, yeah, I like that song. It's pretty good. It's I have to re-listen to it again to really like hone in. Um, I understand it from the the song prior. I think I prefer the Dario Core three version, but again, this feels more of a club mix than it being, you know, like too crazy. <laughs>
needed that transition. I was feeling the pace a little bit. I like the accent of this song though. That's good. the end of the album that's the end of the album <laughs> like I didn't expect anything else when it came to this like Leroy comes to the table you know the noise the mixing of all these songs it's nuts it's chaotic um, 
and you know I think it's interesting you know they decided that they weren't going to continue on with Leroy they come out of nowhere a year later it's like psych I was fucking joking releases this um and you know I, you know, I'll still have a love for the Daria Core series, but there seems like there is an improvement here on what they're deciding to do in the sense of, okay, I'm going to do my Jersey Club, my EDM mixes, and I'm going to, you know, make it more structured. I, I want you to sort of understand what I'm doing more instead of, instead of just feeling like I'm fucking like, you know, beating the shit out of you. Uh, mu musically, I mean, you still sort of feel that here, but it it's a little toned back. But at the end of the day, if you gave this to like this average, like a normie, if you gave this to a normal person, it doesn't matter, right? This is still fucking nuts. They're gonna be like, whoa, like what is this? This is not how I understand uh, music. Um, this person's young. Again, this artist, not very, po especially not popular um, under the name. Um, Leroy, especially not popular under the name Leroy, um, you know, known uh, as their main project, Jane Remover, and we haven't gotten a project from Jane Remover since uh, 2021, I think, it was November 2021, it's a little while, we got a few singles, so forth, um, uh, there was an EP that they did this year, Venturing, right? Four song EP under the name Venturing. And that was literally just like an indie, like an emo album, like a slacker rock emo album. So, right, we have this like, um, you know, Jane Remover moving to that hyper pop um, scene, although the singles were sort of seen moving into a more of that emo electronic working with that, right? Uh, and then having this and they're they're 19 years old. Okay, and this is like the uh, seventh, seventh relevant like project uh, that we've gotten from them, and it's nuts. It's absolutely nuts to see what they're doing at such a young age because, uh, I mean, what is this going to mean 10 years from now? You know what I mean? What will their career be 10 years from now? Considering the fact that at 19 years old, they have such a self awareness of um you know um you know criticizing or analyzing um pop music or or pop culture right like that's what's coming through with leroy when they're making these mixes right uh, with this album it's a little bit different than daria core where with daria core as much as i feel like they actually love these pop songs there's certainly a cynicism looked at at how popular culture uh works in our society um it's nuts. It's nuts, okay? Because, uh, again, especially with this sound of music, I can't name you another artist who's making this sound right now, right? So I think that that's where it comes, you know, uh, it's, yeah, that's that's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, obviously, I do really like this. I really like it. Eight and a half to a nine. I'm sort of in between that range. I definitely need to listen to it more. Um, with this type of music, it gets catchier. The more you listen to it, I can sort of let it consume me. Um, yeah, I want another Jane uh, Remover project. I certainly do still because I think their main project is is uh, you know I, I want to know where that's going, especially with those singles. But regardless, uh, I'm very happy they decided to continue on with this because I was sad. I was sad when they discontinued you know, this group or the, uh, you know, making music under this name. Do you have anything to say, Jif? I, I, this is the first time I've ever made a reaction where I just had like a friend here and they're like doing work or whatever. Um, this person, I could bet you, like, this is certainly not their type of music. Like what I just <laughs> exposed them to was probably a little fucking nuts. And when I paused because of just looking at the camera or whatever, he was like, this is not what I was expecting, Riley. Like, this is not what I thought you were going to be doing. What did you think? That you had a wit you actually had to listen to this whole fucking album. I did. You know, you had no um, control in that. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, probably not. I'll never probably listen to that again. Yeah. But it was definitely interesting. Interesting, I can... <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. <laughs> 
but yeah, me personally, that that's not really yeah, it's not my taste. <laughs> no, that's that's fair enough. But you see, it's interesting though. Regardless, like even if you don't like this type of music, it's so shocking that it's gonna garner a reaction. You know what I mean? It's not something you'd be like, oh, I don't like this and whatever. I don't feel any ways. It's it forces you to be like, whoa. Uh, okay, yeah, anyways, I'll come back to this a few more times, let it sit with me, and then I will give my final thoughts. Okay, it's quite simple. It's as simple as that. You know, what What are we going to talk about here, okay? I think it's pretty obvious. Grave robbing. Leroy here, this hour-long project, listen to it again. Um, I got bias. I got bias for this type of sound. Like, I think this chaotic mashup of noise and all these different sounds it's 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 extremely inventive extremely creative extremely well produced um naturally too it's very very catchy stuff and i'm assuming too even after listening to it a few times i am assuming that it's continuing it will continue um to get uh uh catchy yeah I, i'm very glad to have this i said eight and a half to nine and i think i'm gonna strongly keep it at a nine i don't know if it will it will go up from there really it's hard to tell but now I, i'm just going nine nine it, it's yeah i love this i love this i don't really have much to say i said enough uh uh after i finished listening to it um yeah you know if this is your type of music listen to it if it's not i totally understand that as well uh, okay, if there's anything else you want to see me react to, anything at all, uh, just put a comment down below, and uh, thank you for watching. Peace.